it's John Cope again from Cope Racing Transmissions and thanks for checking back in with the CRT channel. Today I want to do a, a short video to show you um, something kind of cool that I got for the power wagon. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a little history in case you don't know uh, about the truck. This, this truck here is a, it's a 79 Dodge power wagon and is a tribute to the 79 power wagon that I drove as a kid. Um, I used the truck to go get my driver's license. I took it to school functions, um, took it to go roller skating when I was a kid, and I, I drove that truck everywhere till I was about 18, 18 and a half. So from 16 to 18 and a half, I drove that everywhere. It was dad's service truck, as you can see in the side. I'll show you some close up pictures of it. It says Transmatic Transmissions. Um, at uh, service center and it was located in Calumet City, Illinois. Um, Calumet City is, is just south, the very south end of Chicago. Uh, some of you not from Calumet City may know that uh, the Blues Brothers are affiliated with Calumet City. Let's do us a favor. Take $1,400 and give it to Ray's Music Exchange in Calumet City. And give the rest of the band. Um, they mention it in the, in the movie a few times. Um, but Calumet City, uh, you know how like uh, Chicago's known for the, the Sears Tower and um, St. Louis is known for the, the arch that they have. Well, Calumet City is known for, for the two water towers. They have the, the smiling water towers. And they put them on, everybody uses them. My, my dad put them on the side uh, of, the, of the truck and on the front of his business. Um, in, in Illinois, in, in Chicago, and all around a lot of the suburbs, not everybody might not know what this is. Um, they had a vehicle tax called a city sticker. And not only did you have to buy license plates and pay a tax, um, but you also had to have a city sticker. And on the city stickers that, um, Calumet City used, they incorporated the smiling water towers and put them on the city stickers. They, they used it for everything. They put it on everything they printed that said Cal City had the smiling water towers on there. So through a very nice gentleman that I met on Facebook, through one of the Calumet City pages that they have on there, I, I saw that this gentleman was going through his dad's junk drawers um, who had just passed, and that uh, he came across and gave to me an unused 1979 Calumet City City sticker, the exact same year of the power wagon. And you can see the smiley towers on the city, on the city sticker an unused city sticker, never been used. I want to thank him, he knows who he is, for getting me this. When I told him that I was building this truck as a tribute to my father, um, he was nice enough, he came here to my shop and he gave me the city sticker. I tried to buy it from him, I tried to pay, give him money, he wasn't going to have it. He, so I want to say thank you again to him. Um, I gave him some t-shirts to him and his girl. So what I'm going to do, now that I put, I have the windows put in the power wagon, I'm going to install this 1979 Calumet City, home of the Smiling Water Tower City sticker on my 1979 Dodge Power Wagon. And just for reference, in 79, I graduated eighth grade from Our Lady of Knox School. Here we go. We're going to videotape this. A 79 city sticker being used for the very first time. It split on me right there a little bit where they put the cut in it to peel it back, but it's on there. So was everybody asking me what's up with those things in the side of the truck? It's the 
the Smiley Towers. Alone. Great gosh, you're mighty, my baby, she's tall. 